So in this video, we're going to take a look at the Google Meet homepage. So if you go to meet.google.com, you get this page where you can kind of very quickly decide a couple different things. Uh, you have a new meeting button right here. And when you click that, you get three options. And these options are really helpful. So create a meeting for later. You may not have a particular time. You just know that you and a bunch of folks want to meet up and figure things out. So if you actually click on that, it very quickly generates, okay, here's the link, here's the dial-in number, here's the pin for the dial-in number. You just have to copy that and share it with other folks. Um, that's a really useful tool where if you know you just want that as a holding space, that could be the thing that you come back to time and again. That could become the meeting time or the, the meeting room for certain things and everybody just has that bookmarked. Uh, so it's really useful in that regard. You can also just start an instant meeting. And so if you click on this, it will just pop you right into Zoom. Sorry, <laughs> right into Google Meet. And so once you land in there, it'll say, okay, here's where you are. And you can actually, once again, copy that information and share it with others. Or you can click add others and just start to type in their name. Or they may, they may be people that you're already in recent, recent contact with. And just start to click on those boxes. So if I click on people's names and I keep scrolling then I can send an email and it'll say you're being invited right it's a really simple easy way to do it um, you could also call and actually enter in a number so I'm gonna enter in a number so I'm actually not going to put in a full number there because I would prefer that not to be all over YouTube but if you put in a number here and then you hit dial uh, what this will do is actually call that particular number that person will get that call and then they'll be phoned into this meeting. So it's also a nice way if you just need to call somebody, but you maybe don't even actually have your phone with you or, uh, or something like that. So it's a really nice way that you can actually call somebody and have that conversation. Uh, so just know that those are the options. If you choose that start an instant meeting, uh, but I'm going to end this meeting. It's going to say, do I want to just leave the call or end the call for everyone? I'm going to end it for everyone. It's going to say, hey, how was our service? And you can provide this feedback or not. Uh, I'm going to say, sure, that was pretty good. And it's going to ask more details. I'm not going to answer. So back on this here. Um, also note for that new meeting, you can actually give it a nickname. So it could be office hour, right? And you generally can't do space, or you can do spaces, but you can't do things like apostrophes, right? So I can't do office hours. And I don't know why hours would be apostrophed. But just know that you can't do that. So it couldn't be, you know, Lance's, couldn't be Lance's office hour. So you can give it a name just so, you know, you give it a little more homier space. Uh, and then the final option is to schedule in Google Calendar. And so this, when you do this, it will kick you into Google Calendar and it'll start up an event uh, as typical as in Google Calendar. And you can start to uh, clarify the details of that, give it a name, invite people, etc. Um, so that's this page. It's pretty handy. It can get you through a couple, you know, very clear, quick ways of getting set up and running with Google Meet.